In this video, I'm going to walk through installing Eclipse for Java programming on Windows 11. Now this is a fresh Windows 11 install, so I'm going to start a browser. Since this is a fresh install, Edge is the only browser I have installed, and I'm going to go to eclipse.org, and then I'll download, and I will download the package. It should select the right download for you based on what type of machine you have, but it's a good idea to double check. In this case, I have an Intel machine, so I'm downloading the Intel version and I'll click download again. I'll allow all the cookies and I'll wait for this download to complete. So my download has completed and now I want to run this executable to actually install Eclipse. So I'll just click on open file and then I'll close out of Microsoft Edge. And this brings up our Eclipse installer. So you'll see that there's a lot of different options here. For basic Java development, Eclipse IDE for Java developers is sufficient. I would just accept all the defaults. Those are sufficient. Again, you can change the install directory if you want. I would recommend that you create a desktop shortcut or a start menu entry, one of the two, just so you have quick access to it. But again, that's up to you. I'll leave everything as the default. And I'm going to read through the user agreement and accept it. And now you can see that Eclipse is installing. Okay, so you can see that Eclipse has been installed and I have the option to launch it, but I'm gonna go ahead and close the installer. And I'm not gonna launch it here because what I wanna do is check that my shortcut works. And so you can see once I double click that, it looks like Eclipse is loading. The workspace is where your code will be stored. The default is good enough if you don't have a special place where you want that code stored and then I'll launch it. So if you haven't used Eclipse before, there's some information here that you can take a look at, including some tutorials. But for now, we'll close this. And just to be sure that we're working, I'm gonna create a new Java project. I'll call it Eclipse Test. And all the defaults are fine, although I'm not gonna create a module file. And then when I expand this, you can see I have a source folder. In that source folder, I'm going to add a new Java class. I'm going to click public static void main because I want it to create a main method for me. We'll call this Eclipse test as well. And of course, it's the default package, but we're just testing here. So we're not going to be too concerned about following every convention perfectly. And I'll print that Eclipse works. I'll click the play button to run this. And we can see that our installation worked. So from here, I can go on and create projects and write Java code to my heart's content. 